Guys, what's up? It is Doug, and welcome to another edition of Spooky Villages. This one is, well, it's quite different. I've been doing a bunch of different kinds of content, and uh, on the, you know, the channel here recently. I'm excited to do this one. Um, you know, over the winter, I discovered Bob Ross and painting, and every night before bed, I would watch Bob Ross videos. They really relaxed me, and so I started to learn to paint. Thankfully, YouTube is amazing for painting tutorials. I started with acrylic paints, and actually that's what I'm doing now, uh, and in this video, I'll be painting with acrylic paint. So what I did, I wanted to use, uh, do you know, I, I guess do a different background. Uh, I always kind of use the same ones for my village piece backgrounds. Not this background, that's a big one. But, um, and actually, by the way, this is from Dress Lily. It's a uh, kind of a tarp sheet. Uh, you can buy a bunch of them with different designs. People always ask where I get them. They're cheap on Dress Lily on the website. Um, so, as for the buildings though, those are different. I've used a background for a while from a defunct company, this, this cardboard one, really nice, but I've wanted to try to do some different ones. And now that I can kind of paint a little bit, I have wanted to start experimenting with doing different ones. So, I wanted to show you guys myself and my attempt at painting one of these in a time lapse. So, um, before I do that, I'm gonna distill about an hour and a half down into a few minutes here, a few minutes time. And what I wanted to do is tell you that I actually started to use a tutorial uh, from another YouTuber. I'm gonna put that in the link below, but then I kind of went off and did my own thing on this. So the canvas I'm using here, I believe is 24 by 18. Uh, so it's big enough for the video review pieces, you know, we to put in front of them. But if you wanted to do a background though, a full background, you just want a bigger canvas or something. So, uh, and I got my canvas at Michael's, all my painting supplies from Michael's. It was relatively cheap. I'm using all acrylic paints. Uh, check that link below to see the tutorial, how I started on this one. And I would totally, totally recommend you guys to learn to paint. I really don't have that much artistic ability at all. And I can at least come up with stuff that I'm proud of. And um, you know what, without further ado here, check out my painting. This is the uh, spooky night background. You're probably gonna see this in some review videos.
All right, guys, hey, here is the final product here. It's kind of goofy with the lighting. When I did that video, uh, the lighting on the table right above it kind of made the colors look different. It looked lighter than it is. It's a lot darker here. I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. Again, for any of the techniques I use, which really is nothing fancy here, uh, follow the tutorial that I have linked below. That'll that'll get you started, at least, and I kind of went in a different spot. You can see here with the Limax piece in front of it, kind of what it looks like. And I'm looking forward to seeing what it looks like lit up. You'll probably see this or some other ones that I'm painting in uh, some videos very soon here. Now that I've kind of learned to do this, I'm going to be messing with them. So just FYI, if you're ever wondering, you know, hey, what is that background? It's probably one that I did. Yeah, hey, that's it, guys. Hey, I, again, I totally recommend go and try and paint. It's a ton of fun. Uh, I love it as a, as a hobby. It's relaxing. It's more fun for me to do during the winter when I can't really get outside, but um, you know, I love it nonetheless, and I just bang this one out, and I'm filming this in summer. So, all right, guys, hey, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.